Monday the 2nd of October. It's horrible weather outside. I am running on about five hours sleep, but I am so happy to be back vlogging. I am in a really good mood today. I feel really productive and motivated and I'm ready to crack on with the day, but it's horrible out there. I have just got back from taking the dogs to the groomers. Um, I'm trying a new one and I feel a little bit, um, I don't know how I feel about it. I just, I feel like it's like, I feel like I've just dropped my babies off at a new school and I'm not really entirely happy with it. Um, but we'll see how they go on. So it's currently about quarter to 12. I've been up this morning, had a shower and done some bits and pieces around the house. Um, I had a guy come and knock on the door to come pick some garden waste up that we need collecting, although we'd not confirmed him and we were not ready for him. So um, I had to send him on his merry way. Stood outside in a pair of like floral paper bag waist trousers from New York, a Jack Wills hoodie with wet hair blowing everywhere because it's so windy out there. Um, then had to go and change my paper bag waist trousers because in the shower this morning, because I didn't feel like I had a lot of time, I only shaved just up past my ankles, just to save a little bit of time. Then sat down and realized the trousers come up past my calves, which wasn't a very sexy look because I had kind of been going them out for winter, my hair that is. So um, I have put tights on now and I'm in just a black and white striped t-shirt, black denim skirt and then I've thrown on this jumper because it is so freezing cold. Anyway, I'm gonna get crack a lack in and I'll see you in a little bit. run away with me and it's now two o'clock um i went upstairs to just do a little to wash my makeup brushes which i did and then um i just decided i was going to change the bed and i was going to do some tidy and i had some clothes to put away as usual i'm going to have some lunch before i finish editing my vlog so at the moment all i want to eat is minestrone soup and toast but obviously i can't eat it together because it's too much i can just about manage a full tin of minestrone soup i really like it is because obviously now since surgery i have to eat really slowly well not really slowly but i have to take time basically i can't just wolf it down um so a lot of the times when i get to the end of a meal it's cold whereas with soup i can heat it up so hot so that by the time i've got to the bottom of it it's still really warm so I've been, sometimes I've been having like the odd piece of toast for my breakfast if I've not fancied Weetabix and then I'll have minestrone soup for either my lunch or my tea. So I'm going to have that because I'm at the gym tonight so I don't really want anything like bready or heavy because then I will regret it. Um, so I'm going to have this and then I'm going to edit this vlog and then it should be about time to pick the dogs up. She said it was going to take four and a half hours so I don't need, think I need to go and get them till about five o'clock which just seems crazy. The house is so, so quiet without them, but it is nice being able to do stuff and make noise without Tink barking at me. Um, Cause she's just got a real issue with using that voice box. I've done quite a lot today. I'm in such bad pain, like stomach pain, just with period pains. And it's very tempting to just sit on the sofa with a cup of tea and a packet of chocolate digestives, but I'm not, I'm gonna work through the pain. We'll be fine, we've been there before. We're only human, we're women, we can do it. I think they're happy to see you. Hello. You think they look good? They look gorgeous. We eh? bought you some food. Oh God, I'm starving, thank you. I bought you two just in case you write the next thank you. one. Are you showing everyone your new haircut? Are you? Do you all look beautiful? Jaspie? They've all just had a T-R-E-A-T. Jasper looks very much like a little man. Evie, do you look beautiful? I asked them to leave the fur around the hair like a little bit longer and I think they look so cute. Hey, you're gonna be a bit nippy now in this weather. 
happy, but that'll be probably be the last one before Christmas now. So I'll just explain the last clip. I don't even feel like I look like me today. I just, I'm not used to seeing me with hair like this. And um, I don't know, I just don't really feel like me today. But we, I picked the dogs up from the groomers and then Tom had asked me to take him some food because he's on a keto diet, which is when he's on very, very low carbs for 10 to 12 days, I think he's doing it for. They're all having a good scratch now. They're just all obviously re-jigging themselves and getting familiar with their own scent again. Guys, can we just give it a rest for a minute? Thank you. Um, so yeah, so I went and took him. He asked me for some pepperoni and some cheese that we had in the, freeze, in the fridge. So I took him that and I haven't actually mentioned on this channel yet, I don't think. Just be. Right, let me move rooms. There we go, that's better. He was just not gonna stop scratching. So I did an Instagram live a couple of weeks ago and I mentioned there that Tom was opening up a gym. So he's doing it with a few other guys and basically it started off as kind of like a bit of a, you know, just an idea that they threw out there. She's not gonna stop barking now, honestly. This morning was so nice when they weren't here. They're opening a gym and they are almost ready to open. They found a warehouse that was a shell and they've kitted it all out, they have painted, they have built stuff, they've got this amazing company on board that are doing all the building work and it's just amazing. It's gone from like zero to 100 very, very quickly, which I've seen Tom do before. He's a businessman. He obviously at the moment he's personal training, but first and foremost, he's a businessman and he this is what he does. They've all worked so hard and I'm so proud of them all and it just is going to be amazing. So that was where I was just then when I went to find Tommy. It was a little bit hush-hush for a while because they weren't sure what was going to happen and they didn't want to announce anything for quite a while. They've still not opened public membership yet. It's called Fortitude Fitness. So if any of you are interested or you live around here, then you can find them on Instagram, Facebook. And they're also opening up a coffee and it's kind of like a health kitchen coffee type bar. Um, it's all very rusticy and industrial. Um, I have had a little bit of a dabble in the interiors, not too much of a dabble, but we've definitely had a kind of like a clear focus from the start what we wanted it to look like. The menu is all completed now and Tommy and I have been to countless trips to HomeSense and Ikea to find all the kind of like plates and bowls and cups and things which obviously I've loved every second of. Um, so it's really really exciting. I just wanted to throw that in there because a lot of probably like tonight when I'm going to the gym it's not going to be the same gym that you're used to seeing on here that I've been going to. Although I won't be able to film tonight. When I do personal training, I've got a session tomorrow, I will film, but tonight it's um, I'm doing this Pilates class and I can't film in that obviously. But I just thought if this is gonna come up a lot in Vlogto Vlogtober, I'm gonna have to kind of explain what's been going on because I haven't yet. need to apologize for my entire appearance today um i feel dreadful um we've just got in from the gym and i really enjoyed trigger point pilates it was really good it was like focusing on like your muscle points that can like build up and get really sore and using like um like balls and rollers to kind of like ease the pressure and stuff so it's very relaxing i would definitely would go again but i feel like i'd go again if i had like pt beforehand because I feel like it would be really, really good after a workout. The video is uploading. It's a bit later than I wanted it to be today. And I was gonna ask Tommy if he could put the fire on. And it's already on. So this is just like the perfect end to the evening. Just gonna put tea in the oven and cozy up on the sofa. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Night, night.